Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about two new geometry uh, classes that Cadence have introduced in the Cadence PCB tools. Um, so, in version 16.6 .6 and older, if you wanted to do things like a board outline uh, and any cutouts inside the board outline, there was a, there was a class, a subclass, we could go board geometry and there's, a, there's an outline subclass effectively that you, you would use for these type of um, instances and, and to get this information out to a fabricator. So what's happened in um, the 17.2 version is that they've introduced two new classes and or two new subclasses under geometry called um, design outline and cutout. So if we were to go to the 17.2 version and if we do file and open and what we'll do is we'll open that 16.6 board so we'll open the outline board and it was designed in 16.6 we're just going to update this to effectively to 17.2 what you can see is that um, the board outline is still there for now, but if we go to the colours, what we do is we make a copy of the outline layer onto these new subclasses. So if we go to the geometry, we effectively have a design outline and a cutout. So let's make the design outline red. The cutout can go to sky green. Um, we'll just turn the outline layers off. You can see that the outline, so the design outline comes to, to this red colour um, and the cutout goes to a green subclass. The main reason for this is for um, the IPC2581 interchange where this information is going out to fabricator so you can actually distingu distinguish between um, a board outline and a cutout. And this is also used for the IDF IDX flow for that type of information. Um, the key part really is that the design outline must be a closed shape. So what you'll notice now if you wanted to generate a brand new design outline, if you were going to use the add line command, um, the class will not be available to you. So you can still get a board geometry, but you can't see a design outline subclass here. You can still only see the original board outline one. Um, if you, the, the best method really to do a shape is to do a, like a shape polygon, do an unfilled shape, and then you'll see you can pick the design outline as an unfilled shape to draw your design outline so you have a closed polygon. This is also used with the, the FlexiRigid technology when you're creating zones. It uses the design outline to specify the zone information.